Okay, so this is an OBD2 uh, vehicle. It, it adapts to that. It basically plugs into your OBD2 port, which is usually right underneath your dash on your driver's side, and you'll see here in a little bit where I plug this in. And this is the little device. That's the plug, and it plugs right in, and you can actually leave it plugged in all the time once you plugged it in, or you can take it out if you want to, but there it is plugged in underneath this Mercedes dash. And then once it's plugged in, you see the little lights on the bottom just flickering there a little bit. You connect with this app, and this is on an iPhone 6S Plus, and you can see there I push that little button, and it's doing diagnostic, diagnos, uh, a diagnostics of the various systems there. And you see it passed all of them, and it gives the car a good bill of health. Good health, it says right there. And then it's got this mode here where you can monitor it, actually, as you're driving down the road. We're parked, and he's giving it some throttle there. And you can see we're at about 700 RPMs. And then as he gives it a little more throttle here in a second, it's going to go up to, uh, the RPMs are going to go up quite a bit. And it will keep track of your fuel mileage, just all kinds of cool things. And... Uh, these these devices are becoming fairly popular, and I mean it's kind of neat to be able to, if your car is giving trouble or anything, to kind of diagnose it yourself and and go into the repair place armed with a lot more knowledge. So this is a really cool device, and when they first came out, they were like 200 bucks everywhere. This one, the list price is 189.99, but it's on sale on Amazon right now for 60 bucks. So that's pretty affordable. So at that price, I think it's worth it. It, I had to play around with it a little bit to get it to work, to get the connection between the, the phone and the device, but I got it working fine without using the barcode scanning option. With the non-barcode uh, option, I got finally got it working. So you might have to play with it a little bit to get it working, but um, I got mine working, and it's kind of a cool little device for 60 bucks. I would give it a try if I were you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.